Hey everybody, here's my 2022 Road King Special in Midnight Crimson. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. I got it in February and it is now June. There's only one problem with it. Like most stock Harleys, it's too damn quiet. And I went with the uh, Reinhardt uh, DVX 45. That's uh, the, best, the best one you can get from what I hear. Of course, that's subjective. This isn't gonna be so much of a uh, instructional video as it just me putting the exhaust on because quite frankly, I just want the thing on my bike so it sounds better. All right, one of the first things we're gonna do to start off is remove the saddlebags. All right, got those saddlebags off. Next thing to be taking the stock exhaust off. I'm not gonna do a before sound for this because if you're watching this video, you know what these things sound like. It sounds like a sewing machine, it's awful. All right, so these are, these are half inch and then there's a muffler clamp down here that seems to be a 5 eighths, so though it's a little sloppy, so I don't know if it's metric or not. Got that loose and I'm probably just gonna leave that in place. Okay, that took a lot of uh, wiggling around and stuff. I, through editing, it doesn't look so bad, but uh, just be careful not to wrench on it too much. You don't wanna bend any pipes over here or anything, because while you're throwing this away, potentially, you're keeping that, so be careful. Okay, wiggle that in place. Now we're gonna get our washers. Okay, now at this point, I'm kind of leaving everything loose and I'm just gonna, including the hose clamp here, the, the, the muffler clamp, and I'm gonna wiggle everything to the position where I need it on. And then it's gonna be the, the same thing on the other side. I just wanna make sure that both of these tailpipes are even, so one's not further in than the other to make sure it looks nice. And then we tighten up the clamp, tighten these down, and then theoretically we should be set. Nice, now it's starting to look like something. Now next, I, I got kind of everything aligned where it needs to be, so now I'm going to tighten these bolts for the mounting hardware and then the clamp. Now, one thing I'll say is there's a time and place to not care about torque specs, but when it comes to tightening clamps on exhaust, I am definitely for torque specs because you don't want to crush in that exhaust pipe or anything. The torque specs for these muffler bolts are 12 to 14 foot pounds take that as you will but the clamps underneath here for the exhaust that is going to be 45 to 60 foot pounds right here so when they have a range like that i usually like to stick somewhere in between Okay, now I'm gonna just move this hose or this um, exhaust clamp or whatever you want to call it uh, out of the way so it's not in sight, so it looks nice. And then I'm going to torque it down. I'm going with 60 foot pounds. Now with exhaust clamps like this, I like to recheck the torque on it after a few hot runs because, as you know, metal expands and stuff. This stuff can loosen up. So keep that in mind. There we go, hit spec, I was getting nervous there. Okay, got them all on. Uh, sorry about the lighting, it's starting to get dark out. One thing I wanna mention before you go crazy 
Um, look at the spacing between the saddle bags on both sides. It might be off. Now what you do in that situation is you loosen the exhaust clamps in the front. You figure out which one is off. And then you uh, loosen the two bolts for the actual muffler and you rotate it to where you think it needs to be. I'd use these ax these uh, Allen heads as kind of a, a center point to, to figure out the alignment. Once you think you have it where it needs to be, tighten those muffler uh, bolts down, put the bags back on, it will work out. Just don't go crazy, because I'm a perfectionist and I'm a very imper imperfect person, so it was driving me nuts for a while, but that's all it is, is just rotate which, whichever muffler is off, and eventually once you get it to the right spot, it'll, there'll be an even spacing. All right, here's the moment of truth. Okay, that is way better. This sounds great. This is so much better than stock. So this is a very, very easy process to do. It, it doesn't even need an instruction video. It's, it's so simple. A couple of bolts, just follow torque specs, and then, like I was mentioning, aligning everything, so just by twisting the muffler where it needs to be. And, and other than that, it's, it's a breeze. It's real quick. But I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe for more motor-related videos. Thank you.